Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with another brand new episode of Tears of the Kingdom. My three heart run was a four heart run, and now it's not. Back down to three. But, uh,. Yeah, hope you guys are all having a great day today. And man, we have some really good weather here. Can even see as far as, uh, where is that that I'm looking? Mount Lanayru, all the way to Mount Lanayru? That's pretty far. Yeah. Let's see, uh, uh, pretty clear day here in the Nekluda... Nekluda region. Yeah, that's where Dueling Peaks is. Um, yeah, so on the last episode, previously, on the Farts and Crap Show, um, yeah, we got the Fierce DD set, and we got... Fierce Deity Sword, which is not in the inventory right now. Because... Oh, I think I left it... Ah, excuse me. Ah, I need come. Uh, I believe I left it back at the house, but... Largely because I don't know if we can get a second one if it does get broken. So I thought, you know, maybe we should try to actually get these upgrades. Um, so we'll need a shard of nature's fang. Okay, and some Hinox guts, okay. In roll scale, Farage scale. Okay, so we need dragon stuff and Hinox guts. Okay. Um, also, hope you guys are enjoying the look of this one. It's, uh, it's been a bit since I've recorded for the series, to be real. Um, been working on, you know, the random videos and bunch of other stuff. Visions of Mana demo came out, and um, Elden Ring version 1.13 came out. And uh, speaking of when things are coming out, this video is coming out on the 1st of August, so happy August, everybody. And um, that does mean... It's the final day for the current member's choice poll. So one of the recent RC samples videos is going to be the next series. And if you guys want to help decide on what that's going to be, yeah, member's choice poll is how you do that. That is a silver Lizolfo, so I could use some of that parch. I could use some of that. And anyway, that's over on the membership tab for channel members. So uh, yeah, if you want more on that at the end of the video, but if you want to get in on that, uh, join button down below is how you do it. And that is all I'll say about that for now. But yeah. Uh, more on that at the end of the video. So, let's get these silver... I do really like silver Lizalfos horns for weapons. Um, they look really, really cool. As I mentioned, some enemies do scale. Um, with your experience level. Oh, 
Wait, did I get... Mm, okay. I thought I saw something roll over there. Um, but some are static, and they usually mix in uh, the ones that scale with the ones that don't. So this being a very early part of the game. Yeah, two just regular red bacoblins, like, mixed in with the silver Lizolfos. So... Pretty nice stuff. Um... But yeah, it's been a bit since I've recorded for the series. Um, in that time since the last recording, I have uh, kind of figured out a couple like tips and tricks. Whoa! Hey there, Mr. Arrow. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Thank you. Um, in that time. Yeah, I've figured out a couple things that will kind of optimize uh, the visual presentation on these episodes. Um, so, I mean, there was nothing wrong, per se, with how the previous episodes looked. But it's just kind of like a later... You know, as you keep doing something for a while and, you know, try to improve and stuff, you pick up a few tips and tricks along the way, and, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the look at this point. So, finally got all the weird kinks hammered out. Um,. That still cold. All right. There we go. Uh, sometimes you can find Nadra, just like by gliding over here. And we we're already on top of Mount Lanayru, so we get shot up quite high. Uh, and sometimes you can see Dinral. Not always, but sometimes. Not seeing Nadra, though. I think Nadra does pop out of this chasm, though. So let's just take a- whoops! <laughs> let's just take a look-see down here. Didn't realize the camera was not, a. Uh... Because some- all the dragons have, like, their specific path. goes by, like, time, I think. So, I'm not positive. Oh, hey. Okay, this is perfect. Uh, we need Nadra's what? Fang? So what, I have to shoot it in the mouth or something? if this is gonna work. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can... Can I climb this? Actually, it does look like I'm gonna intersect it pretty well. Hey, Nadra. Is it... Sorry, I had to shoot you in the mouth, buddy. Shard of Nadra's Fang. Cool. Attach it to a weapon, greatly increase attack power, cook it in enemy meal 20. 
Is that pretty good? 26 for horns. Yeah, so it's not as good as a horn. Okay, and for the other two, I needed their scales. How do you get scales? Yeah, I put this here to try to do the same thing for Din Roll. So you can usually find Din Roll, like flying his usual path. Um Which kind of swings by under this island. Also, I did unnecessarily use a fairy just now. You're down to one. Okay, that's bad. All right, so let's do full stealth. Remove the bow, remove the shield, because I believe equipped weapons also make sound. So there should be fairies down here, yep. There we go. You can see three of them. Oh, yeah. You can, uh, you can go, Tulin. We don't need you. At least not right now. Okay, there we go. Fucking so pretty this game. <laughs> Trying to get rid of Link's like weird outline. Trying to remember how to back jump when the camera's like in the opposite direction. It's down and jump, by the way. Okay, and that one's a little further away, but this will make four, which will be nice. Probably the wrong way. It's hard to say. Okay, so he's sometimes along this path, but if he's already going that way, we're not going to catch up. And uh, that's the chasm he usually comes from. Our altitude is still pretty high for trying to get, for trying to intercept um, Dinral, so he might be closer to the chasm at this point. Let's just go to this one. But yeah, when I first started playing this game, um, it kind of threw me off, like, the whole, because, like, how the dragon thing works, like, trying to get dragon materials, um, as far as, like, their schedules and everything like that, trying to, like, find them at specific times and everything, uh, very different, very different from Breath of the Wild. Like, I was incorrectly assuming it would be pretty similar. No. It's not. No, I've been down here. Don't even... Don't even give me that. Huh? Huh? 
Oh. Shit. That's right. I don't have a bow equipped. It's like, why am I not taking a bow out to fire? Dude. You don't have one equipped, dummy. Wait, why is this? I haven't used this. Yeah, just keep using this one. Oh, there he is. Holy crap. Okay. Good luck. And he's heading this way. Perfect. Okay, so for his scale... Actually, can we... Does this work? If we shoot, like, multiple arrows, can we get multiple pieces? Burning, we're burning for you. And we're all scale, there we go. Okay, so now we just need Farage. And the easiest way to find Farage is when he's like. Or she. I think the dragons are probably all female because. I mean, I don't know. They're. Essentially, the three goddesses from like a grain of time, right? Like Din, f for what's the F one? It's not Farash. It's similar. For Faro? No. Vera? Hmm. In Nadra, Na Nehru, Nadra. Anyway, the names are pretty much identical, and the coloring and the elemental stuff is pretty much the same too. Um, and they've had many reincarn, many like in not reincarnations. Many appearances throughout different Zelda games. Um, I guess starting from here is probably going to be best. But yeah, going through uh, Gerudo Canyon, essentially. Um, there's a couple different ways. And uh, the dragons are always on the map. It's just a matter of finding where they are. Probably gonna be cold. We are cold. No one can tell us we're old. Oh, ah, crap. I thought I saw it. Um, anyway, should be down here somewhere. What's this island about? Been here. Yeah? Pretty sure we've been here. I think so. That's the weird part of the smiley face or whatever. that. Damn it, Tulin. Don't need your shit right now. goes to this chasm over here, I believe. 
It kind of goes through the canyon and then across here to here. So let's go. Oh, let's go. Um, I mean, that would be a couple different steps as well. Uh, let's just go from here. I guess take the Skyview Tower, what they call them. I actually go down into the chasm and see if we can find. I don't remember the entire path for Farash. Thou didst me good service, Farash. Um. Yeah, we're plenty warm. I'll oh, just keep. Ooh, I don't want to keep that equipped. Um. And like sometimes on the way to the chasm, you can see Farosh coming. In that direction. Oh my god, it's too late. Fuck out of here. see anything so is this really my first time what <laughs> the game just like froze there for a second <laughs> um by most used yeah. Really haven't been down here before, huh? Crap. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see without the the light route. Uh, can we find it real quick? This is really fucking hard to see. Um. Oh, there's one. I guess that was a pillar or something. I don't know, I couldn't see it. Looses. Okay. Right, because the water. Alright. Well... I don't see that freaking dragon anywhere. Mm. Is there another chasm like down here somewhere? Oh, there's this one. Pretty far away, though. Okay. I guess when it's time to keep exploring the depths, this wouldn't be a bad place to go. Although, we need to do the Master Koga thing, which you're supposed to go southwest from the... Uh, from the original... The Great Abandoned Central Mine. Right, where you first run into him. Or... Probably your game is like intended to run into. It's whatever. Um, oh, there's a chasm over here, too. Oh, is that where Farash starts? Okay. Anyway, I'm not really sure 
what I want to do next in this game, aside from for now. Just um, try to get these upgrades. Problem is, I don't really know where to find like high level Hinoxes where you would get Hinox guts. So I probably will have to look that up. Um, and again, sometimes we can just see Farage by doing it this way. Yeah, maybe Farage just pops up out of that chasm over there. Is a possibility. Hmm. All those like indentations in the sand. Probably like whirlpool. Wait, wait. wait. Now, what do they call them when they're in sand, not whirlpools, but sand trap something? Wait, do I have that? I do have that one. Okay. Um, quick sand, no, quick pool, sand, um, you know what? I'm not really sure. the ceiling. Oh, that's got to be the closest one, right? Yeah, that's got to be the closest one. So yeah, until you get that light route, man, you just can't see shit. Man. Get in there. a really old reference, but, you know, it's still relevant. Pink Floyd freaking rules. Great band. Uh, that was The Wall, I think? When did The Wall come out? It was pretty recent, right? It was like, what, 50 years ago? <laughs> Might also have to look up the pathing for for Rosh. We'll see. I know she comes through here. Like, like at fairly low altitude as well. Dragon. Where the hell's Farage? OK, 
Okay, where's that chasm? Okay, it's right there. I mean, I think the longest straight line that Farosh flies in is like right here. So I think going from the Skyview Tower is going to be the best way. I don't know for sure. But probably. I think I know where to find some Hinoxes, though. Like, plural. Because in Breath of the Wild, there was a spot where you could find like, three or four Hinoxes. Like, they're usually pretty solitary creatures. Which, actually, just calling them creatures kind of makes me feel bad for them. Um, wait, which way am I? Which way are we trying to go? Okay, there's a lake. There's the chasm. So it should be over here. Farosh, man. Oh, wait, do you have to unlock Farosh or something? No, I've seen Farosh. Yeah, I have a Farosh's horn. Try diving down here again. Now that I have the light route, I feel like it'll be. What? No, I have the light route. Why is it dark? Oh, wow, the freaking bright blooms I shot are still there. Interesting. Where the hell is that electric dragon? Boogie, boogie, boogie. Actually, I was gonna go take a nap at a stable anyway. Does Farosh still go through here, though? It's like part of the path? I mean, probably, right? Don't we have an island up here? I can f yeah, you can fast travel like over here and then... Uh, or maybe just up here. And then like... Fly down, kinda, sorta? Maybe. If this doesn't work, um... Wait, I took this one out since the Blood Moon, right? Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll go fight some Hinoxes if this doesn't work. And hopefully I can get the Hinox guts that I need and toenails, but... Um... Okay, Farron... Yeah, should be down here. Hmm. 
I mean, the region is named for the damn dragon. You know? I feel like the regional, like, you know, god of the land, I guess, should at least visit his subjects now and then. Where the hell is this dragon, man? Ancient dragon man. I don't see him. Okay, anyway, it's it's around here in these different ponds. Um, Bella wetlands and like these different marshes and ponds around here usually at least from what I remember in Breath of the Wild usually have Hinoxes of varying strengths. Um, I can't really think of another place that definitely has Hinoxes. I, I know they're around. I just don't know where. Which... Oh my goodness, we're pretty much already at time, too. Time just... Oh! <gasps> Dude, what? What? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I saw that. Wait, he goes to that chasm? Oh, when he comes over... Okay, maybe he still pops his head out of Riola Spring and maybe just goes over here. Fuck. Oh, double dragon. Dude, double dragon. Zelda, I need you to tail this dragon as quickly as you can. Or this is Nadra. Fuck, this is Nadra. Damn it. I should have figured. This is Nadra. Damn it. Nadra, I'm gonna need your fang. Can I even catch up? Are you like gaining altitude right now? It seems to be possible. It does seem like I'm catching up. Because, I mean, I'm going to need a Nadra Fang, supposedly. Which way are you going, Nadra? Okay. I mean, we're going this way. Oh. Okay, so can I just go over here and use the launcher to head off Nadra a little bit? Did that work? Because even if I catch up, I won't be able to get an angle unless, like, Nadra drops an altitude. It's like, shoot the mouth and get the fang. Which I'm assuming is what you have to do. I mean, it worked on Din. Din Rawl. Okay, that's the wrong way. Okay, which way are we going? About, yeah, kind of that way. A little bit to the right, maybe. Okay. 
Okay, I saw Nadra somewhere around... Fuck, is that Nadra? No, that's... Where the fuck did Nadra go? I saw Nadra over here heading north. Did I already miss it? Oh, there you are. Hey, Nadra. Sorry, I just need... Sorry. 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 Close enough. Did I get it. There we go. Alright, let's uh let's try that frosh thing one more time. I know this is Farosh's path. Like, over here. Maybe I just need to pass time or something, but I feel like... If I do, then the cycle thing will get messed up, and I won't know where it is. I mean, I don't know where it is in the first place, but supposedly somewhere underground, because above ground, I... Don't see Farosh anywhere, so maybe it would be safe to pass a little bit of time and freaking tooling get the fuck out of here, please. Thank you. Don't see anything? Maybe that was Farosh for a second as I saw a long snake-like structure, I guess would be a good way to put it. Um, Alright. I think just fast traveling passes a little bit of time. Not really sure what the deal is with that, but... Like, time goes very quickly in this game. Like, very quickly. So, this is Gerudo Canyon over here. I'm just gonna try this once more. To get, like, an angle down here. Kinda take a look around. Farosh. Okay. So, Farosh, I just need the scale. Okay, we are way too hot. I forgot I still had that on. There we go. Um, okay, so the tower should work. Let's call Tulin. I don't want to fuck up the timing here, so I'm not going to fast travel. We'll be there pretty quick. It looks like we'll be able to intersect just in time. Okay. 
so I just need a scale. Yeah, look at the altitude difference, man. So far down there. Actually, I might just be able to hit the top of the tower. <laughs> Fuck. Where'd it go? Okay, hold on. No. I can't fast travel back here and get another piece immediately, right? I have to wait for something. From what I remember. I don't remember exactly how that works, honestly. I think there is a little bit of a cooldown, ordinarily. I think from what I remember there's like some kind of exploit. To get it faster? Okay, Tulin. You can you can go now. Don't need your help right now. Excellent bitch. <laughs> He's just gonna thunderstrike me, huh? Alright. It's fine. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here then. <laughs> Like, it does take Frosh a while to get over here, so I might just be able to go fight Hinox and then fast travel back here to get the other thing. So let's uh, see how that works. And that'll be the last thing we do in this episode. I remember correctly. Just doing this to get a lay of the land, by the way. Is that... That's not Farage already, right? No, there's no way. Positioning isn't even right. Yeah, so I think it's in these, like, cage things. Is around here anymore? Is this a Stalnox? Come on, this is a Stalnox, isn't it? It's even got the fucking horn. Does it have to be nighttime? Pond. Okay. Oh, 
a bit further up here. Yeah, I thought there were... I guess there aren't Hinoxes here anymore. Accepting frost from over here, it's been a little bit. Maybe long enough for the cooldown thing? Probably. I mean, I at least know where one Hinox is. Because, like, the one I randomly. Well, not randomly. But the one that I encountered, like, early in the game. Just like blocking the road. like kind of loads like it kind of freezes a little bit just like loading the shit it's probably because all those ego motherfuckers down there has to like load in their camp and all their stupid ass devices Selling that dragon. Alright. Well. I kind of got the pathing down for the dragons. So. Let's go see the Great Fairy real quick just because I want to see. Plus, we didn't find Hinox. And yeah, we'll just do that in the next one because I'll. Probably want to fight the higher level Hinoxes. Um, just to get like. Because uh, from the regular red ones, I don't think they drop Hinox guts. And we're going to need like a pretty good amount of those. Um, It's been raining a lot in this episode. I'd rather not swim the rest of the way, so... Just visibility was, like, terrible, so... I wanted to, you know, just uh, get there a shout. Look at this, we're ending the episode exactly where we started it. Mm -hmm. Ants away. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna run out of toenails too. Fuck. Oh. Oh, it's not the fang. It's the claw for Dinroll. Damn it. Hinox tooth? Oh, wait. 
Oh, this has already been upgraded twice. Oh. Okay. Still, we need... I don't have the... We need more teeth. Okay. And toenails. Alright. It's fine. So... And a Dinral Claw. Okay, so we're, we're mostly fine on materials for the dragon stuff. So that's that's okay. Oh, I think I was wearing... Right. I was wearing Zonite stuff in case we had a thunderstorm and I didn't want to get struck by lightning. That's why. That's why. Okay. Zonite, Zonite, Zonite. Okay, we're good. All right, so next episode, guys. Um, that is going to do it for today. So next episode, we'll go Hinox hunting and kind of just continue this quest for upgrading the Fierce Deity set because, one, I want to have it upgraded because we've been wearing the Barbarian set for, like, a majority of this playthrough. And I do like the Fierce Deity outfit. It, it looks good, you know? And it might have a slightly different, like, perk set bonus. There we go. For wearing the whole thing. So, yeah. I, I just want to get to that point. And as far as next quest goes, there's still quite a few things we need to do. Um, we have half the regional phenomena left. Uh, we have the Yiga clan thing. There's, I think, other side adventures that I don't have yet, I'm pretty sure. Um, like, I thought about doing this. So, here's the thing. It's spoilers time. Slight spoilers. Um... Once, uh, I'll try to, okay, I'll try to say this without spoiling too much, but end game spoilers. Once you beat the game, it isn't completely over. The game kind of shows what percent you're completed. Um, and it shows you the totals on the different quests. So like if you it shows like how many you have compared to how many there are. So that way you can tell like Oh, I'm still missing some main quests, or I'm still missing some side adventures, or I'm still missing some, you know, whatever. Um, and it has an overall percentage of, like, how much of the game you've done. And that's part of the reason some people are not a huge fan of this game. Because it's very... It takes a very long time to get to 100%. Because calculated into that percentage is the Korok seeds. So you actually have to get every single Korok seed in the game in order to get 100%. Which is totally unnecessary from a practical standpoint. So a lot of players feel like it would have been better if they just didn't include the Korok seeds as part of that percentage. Just have it as a separate counter, you know? Because it's in no way required. And that's pretty much it. So I've been holding off on doing that. Because I don't want to do the end of the game story stuff until the actual end of the game. Oh, uh, we have a blood moon happening. 
Yes, we do. Okay. I, I figured that was on its way. Um, because, yeah, that would be a good way to cap off the series. Be like, okay, we're going to go fight the final boss. Blah, blah, blah. Credits roll. Thank you for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's Tears of the Kingdom. And then that's it, you know? Like, that feels like a good way to end the series. But... And it's part of, like, the whole run thing, because we are doing a three-heart run. You know? So, like, you can get strong in other ways, but we're stuck with three hearts, you know? So it's like, ooh, how's the final boss gonna go? I don't know. And that's part of the fun. <laughs> like... So... Yeah. So I've been holding off on doing that. But, oh, actually, since we just hit a blood moon, I'm gonna save again. Uh, even though, yeah, doesn't matter. But, anyway, that's pretty much it. So, as we get closer to the end, I might? Well,. No. I'll try to use my wits and do what we can find. And then get the good ending, hopefully, and then not to say there's a bad ending, but I'll try to do all the stuff and then beat the game and then be like, okay. In the final episode, I'll be like, okay, here's what we got, here's what we missed. And then maybe do, like, a bonus episode? The end? Like, just a victory lap kind of thing? Um, if there's anything, like, important or, like, really fun that I missed. But we are approaching 100 episodes, so... I'm sure some people are like, okay, Tears of the Kingdom, that's great, but... Can we move on to something else? <laughs> you know? So, yeah, I, I, I get the sentiment, I get the feeling, and um, yeah, I'm right there with you. But this is also kind of one of my comfort games, so I do very much enjoy making these videos. I, I, I like having this as a regular series. Like, in my opinion, this series could just keep going and not stop for like a hundred more episodes and there's probably plenty of stuff to do like that's the thing there's like tons of side quests that I haven't done there's tons of stuff to do in this game like tons we're not we're not gonna do all of it like no like definitely not all the Korok seeds definitely not but um, that's a talk for another day. So, thank you all for being here, guys. Uh, as I mentioned, next episode, we're going to keep getting more um, upgrade materials for the Fierce Deity set. But before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members. The amazing people who make it happen, to Bellis Draconis and Aaron Schick, thank you all so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. Vastly helps out, we greatly appreciate it, and it is the best way to support the show more directly. Um, unless you'd want to be a one-time supporter and just leave a super thanks on a video, that's always an option. Um, but yeah, membership tiers start at $3 a month. It's only 10 cents a day, it gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full 7 days, and uh, there actually is one going on right now. But, um, yeah, the voting period is for a full seven days, so it started a week ago. And, uh, it will end at the end of the day today, Eastern Time. So, if you're watching this video when it comes out, there's approximately five hours left. No, 
this video is an hour long. By the time you guys are watching this portion of this video, if you watched it as soon as it released, there's about four hours left. So, and that's for the July Member's Choice poll. It's just ending one day early. It, and this one is to select the new Retro Classic series. Um, so one of the recent RC Samples videos that came out about a week ago, um, yeah, one of those is going to be the new series. But if you're a new channel member, however, um, any of the previous Members' Choice polls that you may have missed over on the Membership tab, you can still vote on those. Basically, they stay open until you vote on them, going back to the very first one. And retroactive input will be considered for future polls, so if something sparks your interest and gets a lot of votes retroactively, I will bring it back for another poll. So, um, yeah, we will have one coming up for August at some point. I'm not sure when. Uh, it's always, like, when a series is wrapping up pretty soon or if we just need to get it done before the end of the month, then, yeah, that's, that's when it happens. But... Um, if you'd like to know exactly when the Members' Choice polls happen, though, and the bell doesn't work out for you, and actually if you just want to stay up to date on all the announcements here on the channel in general, uh, yeah, there's three ways you can do that. There's the Community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show, Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one of those works for you, uh, you can stay up to date. And uh, links for those are down in... The description and also on the channel banner but that is gonna do it for today so thank you all once again for being here guys till next time take care and i hope you all have a fantastic day